In Photoshop, we can be preserving our layer's quality by converting that layer into a smart object layer. And we can see that in action within our design. We have that calligraphy design, including some raster elements, like most of these layers in here. And also we have some vector layers or elements imported from Adobe Illustrator, just like that logo, it's calligraphic logo. And also some of these circles are imported from Adobe Illustrator. And of course, that calligraphy that was imported from Illustrator, hiding that layer so we can have extra space. Selecting that ornament, duplicating that one, pressing Alt or Option key. Now let's transform that one, pressing Command or Control T, scaling that one down a bit, pressing Alt to have it in center. Now we have that one at 23% down from its original size. I'm gonna be executing that pressing enter or return. Now let's say we need to re-enlarge that one once again, command and control T again. I'm gonna be scaling that one all the way, maybe to a similar size as it was. Executing that. And now, as you can see, we have a huge loss in quality in that object. And in order to avoid that issue, we can be converting our object or our layer into a smart layer. Of course, this one is not going to be working anymore, so I'm going to be deleting that one. This one is finito. <laughs> so pressing delete. And I'm going to be duplicating that one once again in here. So we can see the difference between both of two layers. Now we have our layer in here. In order to convert that one into a smart layer, all we need to do is to go to our layer, right click, and we have convert to smart object. And we will see that symbol in here, telling us that this one is a smart object. Now let's redo that test once again, scaling our layer once again down, pressing Alt and get it to maybe 23 as it was or something like that. Executing, now let's re-enlarge that one all the way roughly to 100%. And as you can see guys, we have the same resolution as it was. Of course, if we start scaling above its original size or above 100%, we're gonna be losing quality again because it's a raster based image and it's not a vector element which is the main difference between raster elements and vector elements. Of course, vector smart objects can be scaled too large to any size we would like without losing any quality. It's gonna be preserving its quality, while raster objects will be restricted to its own resolution. Of course, any smart object can be rasterized anytime. In order to do so, we need to right click our layer and we will find rasterize layer. Now we got it back as it was. However, let's even get to know more about smart objects or layers. I'm gonna be creating a very simple clipping mask, pressing M on keyboard to make a simple selection like that one maybe. Then I'm gonna be creating a mask, clicking that button in here. And as you can see guys, we have our mask and layer in here. Let's convert that one to a smart object again. Right click, convert to smart object. Now we can see our mask, it's embedded within our layer and in order to edit that one, we need to double click our layer. So I'm gonna double click our layer in that area. And we have our layer opened in a new file with extension PSB. And that file is already included within our BSD file, which is Photoshop's native file format. And it's not gonna be saved as a separate file or anything like that. However, we can be customizing our smart object within that file. So let's say, for example, we need to be adding an adjustment layer to that one. We can be adding maybe hue saturation, adjustment layer, changing its color. Now, if we go back to our original file, it's not gonna be affected in there. And that's mainly because we need to save these changes within our BSP file. So let's go back to that one. I'm pressing Command or Control S. Now it's saved. Let's go back to our file. As you can see, it's changed in here. Of course, we can be rasterizing our image once again to see what's gonna be happening to our mask. 
right click on our layer and we have rasterize layer now we have our layer flattened we can't be accessing its adjustment layer once again or its vector mask so remember to convert your raster layers into smart objects if you're going to keep scaling them within your design maybe for experimenting or maybe for arranging your file 